This past Halloween, Ben Miss Montessori had their annual multicultural market. I spoke with Miss Melinda Harris, the principal at Bemis, who said that the market has been around for a long time and that it is a great way for kids to understand about other cultures. Yes, we've been doing the market for about 15 years now. We started uh, wanting to make sure that the students were understanding the different cultures from around the world. And we actually do it every year on October the 31st because that helps us stay away from the Halloween traditions and still allow children to dress up and study their culture. So they spend the entire month of October, they choose a culture or a, or a country, and they do the research, the student work, and then this is the day they're able to present their work to their families. I also spoke with one of the parents at the market, which was kindergarten room mom Sarah Chad, who said the kids worked for about a month making marshmallow igloos, learning about animals, and collecting plastic jugs to create giant igloos for the Eskimo culture. This is a kindergarten class, and so several of the kids made um, marshmallow igloos, and they talked about the different animals that are in, um, in the Eskimo culture, in their natural habitat, and the foods. Um, they've been preparing for about a month, so the kids have been working on their projects, and they were collecting, if you look behind me, we have an igloo made out of um, milk jugs and the kids collected over 350 milk jugs to make two igloos, one for their classroom and one for the market. Even though the market was all about the students, teachers were still a very important part of it. They taught the students about the different cultures. I spoke to two teachers, Mr. Antony Reed, who teaches first through third grade, and Miss Peggy Smith, who is a seventh and eighth grade teacher. They each told me about the cultures they were a part of. Our class did the Bedouin culture, and it's right here. So it's a nomadic culture and so they move from place to place or there's some that just kind of stay in one area. We did do a booth. We did a booth all about southern culture. On our table we have um, displays that talk about the southern food. We have displays about education, about fashion in Tennessee. And we have famous people that are from the south and from Tennessee. We also have animals and uh, a lot of musicians that are from Tennessee. I even spoke to a student of Bemis Montessori, a second grader named Lydia Platt, who told me it's her first year doing the market, what her culture was, and what was on her table. This is my first year. I'm over there doing Chile. Um, posters and rain sticks. We have cookies called cocadas and um, grapes. For Hawk TV, I'm Gentorius Versa.